Okay, guys, you got a bonus extra paint session today. As soon as we hook up all this stuff up and try to get our folks back. And pick up something that fell on the ground. And we'll be back at it. Okay. So this is where we left off here with the handgunners there for the Hungarians. Hungarian handgunners. Let's um, we got this guy left and then uh, these other four are done. Let's flip this thing around and um, There we go. All right. Man, what a mess. What a mess of stuff. I don't know how successful I'm going to be with painting the rest of these handgunners. I just got done taking a shower after a workout. And I might be a little uh, unsuited for that right now. So let's just put these things up. Recover some of our strength. Uh, that goes there. Could always work on the Russian tank. I know we got that to do. JS2. No oil and such. Let's crank up the. There we go. Crank up the air. All right. Where'd we leave off here? This guy right here. Well, let's attempt to try to pick this up. And uh, one thing we do need to do is we need to uh, get the other four guys ready. One of these, I made the mistake of using the same pose as one of the other ones. So we need to replace that guy and see if we can't do so without too much trouble. search for this. Well, I thought I had an extra guy here. Yeah. I know I got extras. I just don't know where I'm, I'm going to have to go with my big pile of lead and get um, a 
and get another guy. I mean, there's no reason I can't just paint that guy, but I'd like to have two of each. So that there's uh, four figures in each wagon, two of each pose, mixing it up a little bit. And uh, I want that irregular look to them. Um, dig deep for that next time. It's only an issue if in this painting session I end up going through finishing this figure and painting three other ones. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and maybe somebody will show up and entertain me. <laughs> maybe not. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's get this cord out of the way. Yeah, so someone was asking what this magic uh, liquid that I use here, and this is, this is it right here, airbrush thinner from Vallejo. And there's a long way. I've used this quite a bit, and you can see I've only used maybe a tenth of this. Stuff is rather expensive, but um, I'll be buying it again. And the reason I got that is actually a transfer over. The, I watched a video on how to transfer over your Games Workshop paints uh, onto eyedroppers. And that was kind of a fail because it took forever to do it. And my whole reason for transferring them was to avoid a mess. It seemed to be pretty messy every time I was doing something with them. And it didn't really solve that. It ended up being just as messy. So um, it was a fail in that respect, but it allowed me to find out about this, uh, this product, and which was a big win. All right, so. Let's see if we can get through the rest of these figures without changing the paper on this, because that would be that would be nice. I think we can go a little darker than that. I didn't get a chance to take a look at um, the prank brushes that I said I was going to do while I was waiting for my daughter earlier. I mentioned that in my earlier painting session because I ended up not having to wait for her. They just let her drive home. So um, I decided to get a workout out of the way. So that was the wise move. So. We will see if we're able to paint post-workout. Paint figures, anyways. I'm sure I can get away with doing the tank. All right. Let's add a little bit more.
We have all kinds of people awake in the house, so hopefully we won't get any kind of background noise kicking in here, but you never know. So this uh, airbrush thinner, what I discovered that it seems to do is keep the paint from sticking onto the paintbrush and therefore drying it out. And also it seems to thin the paint without separating the pigment molecules. And that's what it seems like it's doing. Um, it's just, it's very subtle. And um, yeah, it worked for me. So, and that was good because what happened is, is after I discovered that I bought this $20 thing to transfer over all my metallics, I wasn't happy with the process of doing that. So I'm like trying to find a, a new purpose for this paint to do. And, um, color here. Although I'm painting, uh, I am painting the hands, but I realized I didn't finish painting the little dicky around them. I don't remember what color it was. Was it blue? I think it was blue that we were going to do. We didn't get very far. But I kind of like the color that it is now, so I think we might just take that color and bring that one up. So it's okay to change your mind. I don't have a a set color that it must be or else. It's better to have flexible plans. Things will work out better that way. Let's go back to this uh, dicky that we were talking about that we didn't finish all the way up. This belongs down here. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, that was here we were working on it.
I believe that was blue and the brown that we were doing. Yep. This guy is another mercenary, so if he's wearing colored garments, they're not going to be super bright because that stuff costs a lot of money. this up a tiny little bit and then we're going to start adding white because we don't want to have a lot of pigment in this color. That's what I'm thinking. We still want these guys to be mismatched but we still want them to be, you know, um, commoner folks and stuff like that that are just sitting and fighting in a war wagon. You know, if they had, if they had cash, they'd be riding a horse, you know. fluff backstory to this particular person. Okay, and we're just going to add this white exactly right where we're, right here. And we're going to lighten this up. All right, a little bit more white. Nah, that's overkill. White is very, it's very powerful, just as the black is as well. You add too much and you've turned it into something totally different. Little goes a long way. Okay, I think we're probably good with that right now. All right, let's do his hose. Um, I'm fine with just doing white on this one. Where is it here? Okay, good. All right. 
right, now let's add more of the white on here. Right, and then we could probably just do the straight white now. It's going to be pretty thinned anyway, so it's not like it's going to be poke your eye out bright. Alright, now let's go ahead and grab some brown. We're going to give this guy some brown, brown shoes. <laughs> yeah, if it was a work day, I'd take a nap, but it's not, so we got things to do. Not that I don't have any things to do on a work day, but... So today is the last day for that Matrix game sale. Lots of things are on sale there. I don't work for them or anything. I just figured I'd pass it around. It's the sole, whole reason I found that there was a, there was a they were on sale. Somebody told me. So there's some big sales on there on Steam. So I ended up picking up on Friday. Uh, I think it was Friday. It might have been Thursday. It might have been Wednesday, actually. Whenever I found out about it. The, um, actually, it was the 25th. So what was that? Thursday? I ended up picking up all the Coast Combat Series games that I didn't have. I had the original ones. But they don't work on a computer. So the redos for the... Um, for the new style computers plus the the newest one that everybody complains about and hates it's actually the one i'm playing right now and i don't know i think people just like to complain about crap you know all right let's uh beige red no nah, it's crazy that's crazy. That's a little too out there for that. But this English uniform. Let's use this as the base of the scabbard and the um, the belt. We'll do that. Well, looks like I lost just about everybody this morning. Everybody got called by their mom to go do their chores, so I guess I'll have to wait until they're done with their chores. <laughs> uh, I could have gone on later, but I figured let earlier is better than later because of the European time. So let's see where this where is the pen vice. Some of these color 
course, I've had a very long time, and this is one of them. There we go. Okay. Alright, the belt. And we're just not to try to forget the little bag this time. So these guys are going to be a tight fit in this wagon. Um, hell, they may not fit. I don't know. But i got to get... Well, that's not the way to do it. i got to get four guys side by side on this wagon. And I think they'll fit okay. Um, and then, of course, this wagon will be the front. So as it advances, it's going to advance this way. It's not going to advance sideways like this, so um, it's going to be really easy to see which side is the fighting edge. So that's at least what I'm doing, and it should fit on a 40 by 40 stand. And yeah. All right, so let's paint all of the belt in this color right here. Let's grab more of this. There we go. Now it's starting to look good. Sometimes you just get to the point where I don't know about this, I don't know about this, I don't know about this, and you stick with it and you're like, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, and looks like we need to Looks like we need to go ahead and add um, a little bit of this. This got covered over some of it somehow. 
No biggie. Just another step. All right. So where does that leave us at? We have the handle of this. That's relatively painless to do. It's been kind of doing it the same way for a little bit now. to it. Okay, that's good. We got shoes. What do we got left on this guy? A bag and then no oil. It's incidentally, we didn't do with this guy either. I mean, we didn't uh, highlight him afterwards, but um, all right. So let's use, um, what do we have to work with here? Let's do this color. Let's mix it with some brown. Let's get some black over here. That's what we're going to paint this thing. Yeah, it looks like I may have picked the wrong time to come online. Good for me, but nobody else. Oh, well. I'm still getting this guy done, so... If you guys here here to see it, that's cool. If not, well, that's all right, too. Um, right, so we're going to add more of this. Lighten this up some. I may end up having to take a nap today. Okay. What do you got left on this guy? Just a non oil treatment on the top. All right, let's do that. Give them the old null oil. Which is the same thing we come back and do both of these helmets at the same time. This one that we finished with, we do the same thing. We haven't brightened it up. So we'll go ahead and when we do that, we'll go ahead and brighten both of these guys up. Okay. All right. So where does that leave us? That leaves us with the last four guys here. Okay. So these guys have chain mail. Whoopee. Okay. So, 
let's go ahead and do that now. Sure enough, I forgot some black here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take care of that. We don't necessarily have to get the actual primer out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, get us some chain mail. So let's go ahead and take, uh, we're over here in metal corner, there's still some here, and let's get a brush that we don't mind uh, mixing it up with, like this candidate right here. This would be perfect. And we're going to come in here. Just dry brush. And if we go over it a little bit and do into something else, it's not a big deal. It's really minor the amount that we're doing there. Okay, so we got that down. All right. Okay, all right, now what's particular about this guy? He's got a helmet, he also has one of those dickies. He has kind of a, a vest, and he has a shirt under the vest that's long. So the shirt under the vest is gonna coincide with the shirt under the chain mail. Okay, and we do need null oil on uh, the chain mail. It helps it give it some depth. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll leave that alone for Wow, we can come back and, and mess with that towards the end of the figure. Let's see if we can get this thing to behave. Okay. It's going to go over this. Darken it some. That's all I need. Okay, um, right. So what color vest are we gonna have for this guy? Well, let's do a, um, let's paint his helmet. If you can't figure out what to do, just paint something else that you don't have, you, you have no doubt about it. Yeah, it's a slow afternoon now. Okay. All right. Over shirt. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let us. Let's grab this really dark red. This happens to be burnt cadmium red. I've never burnt cadmium before, but I take it that's his. Uh, Somebody's word for it. This is what it would look like if you did. It's gotta be some kind of a mineral. What's the... Okay. So 
find us a spot. There we go. All the way over here. You know the drill. We're going to add some black to this and build it up from there. Okay, so this is going to be this jacket only, which is uh, has no sleeves. I guess technically it'd be what, a jerkin? Sounds about right. Same thing over on this side. start adding white to it right now instead of adding more of this core color that's gonna make it look really interesting I hope super groggy. You'd think I'd have a huge meal or anything, but I haven't even had lunch yet. Finally, somebody shows up. <laughs> only 44 minutes in. I only have till two, so I was told I needed to pick a time to paint till. This is the, this would be the fifth handgunner that goes in the Anthony War Wagon. We need to do this guy and three more. So I'm just plugging along. You picked what army you're doing next? I can't remember if you did. I know you just got done with Eastern Franks. I don't remember who you said you were going to do next. Oh, that's right. You're painting the um, the third dynasty of Ur. That's right. Oh, they ought to paint up quick. track of my stuff, much less somebody else's. Okay, let's add a little bit more white. So this is, even though we use this core red color, you can see this is not red at all because we started hitting this using the white early. That was intentional. Intentional bait and switch. Mm 
Okay, and do we need a little, a little more? Maybe, maybe just a tiny little bit. Ever so slightly. No! under a coat that's under the one he's wearing okay so i think we're going to give him the dicky in white and let's go ahead and do that because that's gonna that's gonna pop because he's kind of rather dark we want to alternate the lighter and the darker colors they look a lot better if you do that What I really want to do is work on some models, but building them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to try to stay on track. I'd be done with these damn Hungarians. <laughs> if you're Hungarian, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about these damn Hungarians. These guys I've been messing with. All right. All right. The black's here. The white's here. We're good to go. Bring this up. And of course, a little more. Man, this yawning is killing me. I'm gonna need to get a nap in. One thing I don't like about painting this stuff is time really flies when I'm painting. So if it happens on a weekend, you know, it'll be work day before you know it. And it may not be what you want. Okay, and maybe a little bit more.
Okay, that's pretty much about where we need to be. Now, we're going to do this little part of his shirt that's outside of his jerkin and the sleeves. And we're going to, let's see what we're going to use as a base color. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. Okay. Oh, that's Iraqi sand. Good old Iraqi sand, huh? All right, well, in that case, we're not going to do Iraqi sand. that skeleton bone let's use that let's use the skeleton bone color we don't use those colors enough anyways this one's made in Denmark yep little bit of a shirt peeking out we're not going to use black this time let's use a dark brown let's mix it with this Let's add a little bit more of this stuff. Skeletonian bone. All right, let's add some white to this. Just a little bit, just a wee bit.
I may have to break for lunch here pretty soon. Be right back. All right, well, we're going to call this one. I'm gonna go ahead and have a break for uh, some food. Almost about an hour here, and uh, I guess I picked the wrong time. It's kind of a slow time here, but anyhow, working our way forward. The sooner I get these guys done, we can start working on a different project, but anywho, catch you guys next time, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye.